Hello everyone. Welcome to another live stream at my YouTube channel. I'm Christina. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to be creating a Halloween card using the Too Cute to Spook stamp set from Simon Says Stamp. This is one that I designed for the Stamp Temper release and I am just in love with these cute little ghosts. I really wanted to use them on a card. So here we are. We're going to jump right in here and get coloring. So I've decided to create a mini slimline card and I thought I'd show you the card sketch because these cards that are on my, the page of my sketchbook have already been shown. So it really doesn't matter. <laughs> um, it's, I'm not keeping any secrets here because you guys have already seen them. Let me see if I can zoom in here. Okay. So, um, it's a mini slimline card. I thought I would take this greeting that says happy spooktober and I would have it at the top of the card here. And then I would mask off kind of a section here with some rough edges and uh, do some ink blending over the top. And then I would add, you know, I'd color the clouds and also this little witch ghost, or I should say a ghost dressed like a witch. And I would color those, cut them out and pop them up off, off the little blended scene here. Also adding some stars. So it's a really simple card. I think this could actually be translated into a really fun Halloween envelope as well. So um, maybe if I have a little time here at the end, I'll show you how you could do that. And maybe if there's even more time, I'll just go ahead and make the envelope. So let's get started here. First, I'm going to create my card base. And um, so I've got to cut some cardstock so that it is a mini slimline card. I'm having trouble here. My I think my remote for my camcorder is dying. I need to get a new battery for it. It's been kind of wonky for a while. I have some white cardstock here. This is Solar White 110 pound cardstock from Nina. Okay, so a mini slimline card is, let's see here. I've got a little bit of scratch paper right here. Let's figure this out. Okay, so a finished mini slimline is three and one quarter by six and one quarter. So that's the finished size. So we're gonna make it uh, six and a half by six and one quarter and then score it. So what I did was I just doubled this dimension right here, the three and one quarter. I made that six and a half. So six and a half by six and one quarter will get us the perfect size card. All right, I'm gonna open this up and place it inside just so it's flat. I know it's a little hard for you guys to see where this, the fold is, but it's right there. And here's my stamp set. Okay, here we go, Spooktober. And I'm going to be using Versafine Onyx Black Ink. It's my favorite black ink. Make this up. I'm going to grab my Stampin' Bug glider just to get really even impression right over that. Oh, beautiful. I don't need to stamp it twice at all. And we're going to do some masking. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is, well, I'm going to take this post-it tape and I'm going to mask off the back of the card because we're not going to have any color back there and then and I'm just I'm almost letting it tear as I go along I'm also thinking ahead I wanted one cloud to kind of come up above the ink blended area so I want to make sure there's enough space up here that I can have the cloud I can kind of see my greeting through this so Okay, and then I've got the other end. All right, I'm gonna press this down really well. And I am going to be blending off the edge. So I'm going to put down a slick surface. It's a little bit easier to clean up. Let me zoom in here a little bit. I'm gonna be using three different colors of Distress Oxide ink. Hopefully they blend pretty well. I think they will. I've got Black Sealess Preserves and carved pumpkin. I'm gonna go right into this carved pumpkin. And just, you know what, this is, this right here is making me nervous. 
There's just a little bit at the bottom of the card. There we go. And you know what? Just to be safe, we're going to do that. <laughs> there we go. No accidental ink blending. Okay, so I'm going to just come in from the bottom here. Oh, this is such a great orange. And I'm going to come in fairly far, but I really want to saturate that cardstock with Distress Oxides. Actually, this is with any type of ink. If you're going to uh, have a really seamless blend, you're going to have to put quite a bit of ink down. Okay, I'm going to come right across that Seedless Preserves. And it's going to kind of overtake the orange a little bit. But I'm not too worried because I can add more of the carved pumpkin and walk that purple back. This is kind of a smaller area for three different colors of blending, but I'm going to make it work. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and do the black set before I kind of blend the orange and see this preserves together. This black set's really going to like intensify those colors. And I really want it to blend into oh so pretty for Halloween I love it if I had more space I might even have gone from seedless to chip sapphire and then to black soot but this is still gonna be pretty good all right I'm gonna bring seedless preserves back in right here because the black soot kind of overtook the seedless preserve. So I'm just kind of walking that back a little bit. I'll come back with my black brush, kind of blend those two together again. All right, and then I'm going to take carved pumpkin. I'm going to add just a little bit of ink to it. I don't think I need a bunch. And I'm going to try to bring the orange up into the seedless preserves a little bit more, maybe do a swiping motion so it doesn't creep up into that purple too much. Sorry, we're getting a lot of blurriness. Bring that orange up. Okay, I like how that's looking. I'm going to take the Seedless Preserves brush, come back in over that black soot. Kind of get that band of color. Sometimes near the end, I like to just like hold it really gently and just have it glide over the surface. And that just blends things so gently, especially when you don't have very much space that you're blending, but you do want a nice seamless blend. All right. I think that looks pretty good. So let's take all this tape off and see what we have. Oh, I love that. We're going to set this aside to dry while working on the other elements of my card. Not much. All right, here we go. We're going to do some Copic coloring. Um, here are the colors of our ink blending. Those like really jagged edges look pretty cool. I'm going to start with the clouds first because that's going to be fairly easy. I'm not going to be adding a bunch of color onto them.
All right. The stars, I'm just going to put straight down onto the card, but the clouds I'm going to put on foam and I'll put the ghosts on an action bubbler. I like having these elements sort of intersect and come outside of this area that's in the middle. So that's why I wanted to have the cloud and the star up here and this one down here kind of come off the edge. I think it's almost like creating a, a boundary for a scene and then having elements in the scene break out of that boundary. I think it looks really neat. So when it comes to Halloween stuff, I don't do spooky. It's all about the cute. <laughs> all right, so only thing left to do is put the action wobbler on. So I want to get one that's nice and loose, really springy. Kind of loosen it up a little. And the clear part, which is the flat part, there's a thicker plastic, that's this up here, and then this area at the bottom is what goes onto the card. This is the area, this top is what goes on your little image. So, pressing that down, getting that where I want it. And then you can take the backer, like the release paper off the back. So it looks like this then you can place it exactly where you want it and then press down. And now it like wobbles and moves around. It's so, she's so cute. All right, I'm using this sparkle pen from uh, Spectrum Noir. If I can get the cap off, there we go. And I'm just going to add sparkles to the stars. I don't even know if you'll be able to see it on camera. I'll tip it in the light and you might be able to see it more. All right, do you see the sparkles on those? So cute. And I think I'm gonna add sparkle to the clouds as well because it's a cute Halloween card, right? <laughs> So here's the card for tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love the different colors blending together and having that greeting up at the top. I really love the mini slimline size. It looks great. So thank you so, so much for joining me and for watching the edited replay. If you want to see more detail and also uh, my idea for how to translate this to an envelope, you'll want to go over and catch the unedited replay, the full length video for this live stream. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in another video very soon. Mm -hmm.